A good evening, everyone. Good evening. Hello, guys. Good evening. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening, Good evening guys. Miss. How are you doing? Hi, miss. Good evening. Hi. Hi, guys. Good evening. Good evening. Great to see you again. And I'm sorry for missing yesterday, but I'm very happy to hear you. Um, so I see Estella. Thank you for the camera, too. Abigail, I'm sorry. So Abigail, Yvette, Mr. Castaneda, great to see you. Manuel, Hi, baby, miss. good evening, guys. Creo que por ahí a Jorge. So great to see you guys. David, good, good evening. evening. Debra, how you doing, guys? Hello. Manuel, good evening. How are you guys? Happy good Thursday. Evening, are you doing all right? Are you doing just fine? So, so, did you rest yesterday? <laughs> Did you rest a little bit? Like you were forced to rest? Did you sleep early? No. So well, we was... No, Miss. Yesterday? <laughs> no. no, come on. David, I'm sorry. What did you do? For me, it was terrific. Why? So, what did you do? Oh, it's my, was my birthday. Oh my God, happy birthday. So that sounds great. That was, I know, you know, that was the birthday present from me to y'all. <laughs> no, unfortunately, I couldn't be with you, but I'm, um, but I'm really glad, you know, that you are back here. Um, I'm sorry, my voice is still really bad, uh, but I hope, you know, you, you can hear me well. So, uh, well, guys, uh, to get started, today we're going to start working on unit number three. Uh, Oficialmente ya iniciamos la semana tres, guys. You know, like, uh, for some reason, people say that enero se siente eterno, and probably that's why. <laughs> Pero este módulo va corriendo, you know, so uh, this module is running, and February casi nos deja también. Um, guys, solamente para darles un poquito de, like, extra um, info here. Uh, remember, guys, that um, siempre la plataforma es de super importancia que la vayamos completando. 
Y aparte tenemos algunos ejercicios that during classes eh, no los revisamos como tal y en la plataforma vamos creando vocabulario también, right? Reforzando los temas de grammar. So, eh, hacerles el, el, you know, eh, por ahí dejarles, guys, el, hi, Manuel. Yeah, right. Está bien caluroso. It's really hot. Lo acabo de ver, you know, like fanning you out. Y actually, I just went out and, and my sister told me the same. Que estos días ha estado muy caluroso. It's really hot. I have no idea what's going on, but um, esperemos que el clima no, um, no se ponga tan caro, right? Hopefully, it doesn't get that uh, bad. But here, yeah, está bien caluroso. Emmanuel, where do you live? Do you live in San Salvador? Alta Vista. Uh, ah, in Soya. Oh, Soya is very hot, right? Uh -huh, okay. Hey, guys, what about your houses? ¿Cómo está el clima en your houses? Is it hot too? Está caluroso. It's hot. it's hot as well? Yeah. Where do you live, guys? Where do you live, David? San Salvador. I live in Apopa. Y... And right here in, in this time it's very hot. It's very hot too. Okay. So a popa. So yeah. Okay. So it's really hot. Yvette, where do you live? In Mexicanos. Ah, okay. And is it hot too? Yes. Okay. So now it's hot. the weather then. I just saw Mr. Castaneda saying like, no. <laughs> okay. So it isn't in, in Sosonate? Sosonate, right? Yes, miss. It isn't hot? No, miss. It's um, a little fresh. Oh, wow. Lucky you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that sounds great. Because I live very close to Nuevo Cuscatlán, but it is so hot. And I, I just thought that it was my room. Porque pasa cerrado, you know, all day long. So I was like, oh, maybe it's my house. But anyways, so guys, um, yeah, esperemos que el clima y la temperatura baje a little bit. <laughs> Otherwise, anyways, just your fans or anything, and we're going to get started. Um, tenemos, eh, vamos a revisar el tema de ahora. Está bien fácil, guys. It's really easy, nothing complicated. So vamos a ir revisando un poquito también parte del vocabulario eh, que hemos dejado pendiente from unit number two. So um, to get started, no sé qué tan buenos son, like, with um, sporting words, right? And uh, with all these activities like crossword, puzzle, so hopefully we can make it. If you take a look here, I have some words uh, relacionados con companies. I have industry, staff, networking, branch, guests, headquarters, small talk, Manufacturer, personnel, and expertise. Um, so, guys, what I want you to do is the following. Para quienes están en el teléfono, les aparece en la parte de abajo, en la esquina on the right, it's on the right, les aparece anotar y les aparece un lápiz. So, with the pencil, what you can do is, uh, pueden ayudarme, you can help me and find the words here. Si están en la computadora, en your computer, donde está el menú flotante, word, um, you will see, uh, like a new menu. Hay una opción, hay como tres puntitos. Ah, okay, I see Manuel, he found it. Um, so, en los tres puntitos, right, in the three dots, or in the menu, le da, buscamos algo que dice um, anotar. Um, or annotation, or annotate. I'm not quite sure. Y podemos encontrar las palabras. So, I see that Manuel found manufacturer. Thank you so much. Okay, very good. I'm just going to like write it here. Voy a seleccionarlo acá just to make sure you know that we already got it. So we have manufactured. Okay. Um, oh, okay. So if it found a stuff, so I'm going to like cross that out. Guys, do you find another one? No puedo In... encontrarlo yo. Oh, industry. La primera dice personal. So industry. Oh, ¿quién lo borró? Who erased it? I see a small talk. Okay, ah, oh, very good. You're good. Very nice. ¿Quién encontró personal? Who found it? Stuff. Oh, expertise. Okay, expertise. Guys, help us. You can choose colors. Pueden escoger colores too. 
You can choose some colors if you want to. Oh, okay, very nice. Somebody found guests. Very good. Okay, personnel, yes, up to that one. <laughs> okay, personnel, very good. We are missing networking branch and headquarters. Edwin found headquarters. Yes, very nice. Okay, headquarters. Hi, Edwin. Good evening. Um, what is the other one? Um, networking. Oh, okay. You found networking. Very good. Networking. Branch. Uh, where is branch? Oh, you found branch. Oh, we got all of them. Congratulations, guys. Very nice job. Wow. You're really good at this. That was quick. Okay. Very nice. Now, guys, revisamos un poquito of pronunciation. Let's take a look at pronunciation and let's take a look at the meaning of the words. Um, everything está relacionado con empleo in our companies, right? So, primero, guys, repeat it conmigo. Industry. Industry. Mm -hmm. Industry. Very good. Industry. Next. <coughs> Very nice. Next one. Staff. Wow. Staff. Staff. Mm -hmm. um, so, remember, cuando las palabras comienzan con S, Por lo general Stop. no suena como E. Eh. Mm -hmm. Solo S. Stop. Yes, very good. Okay, let's continue. Eh, networking. 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 Networking, yes. Very nice. Eh, next one. Branch. 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 ¿Qué uh, era branch? branch? ¿Se recuerda? Do you remember the meaning of branch? Ya vamos a revisarlo. Voy a ir a chat super quick. Next one, guests. Algo así como sucursal. Oh. Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly. That is a branch. Uh, next one, guys. Guests. 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 You can say guest. Yes. And then guest. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Exactly. Manuel, say it again. Yes. Okay. Ahora, uh -huh. con la S. Yes. Very good. Exactly. Exactly. So guests. Okay, yes. next one, uh, headquarters. 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 Okay. headquarters. Next one, small talk. Small talk. Small talk. Very, talk. Uh -huh, very good. Next one, manufacturer. Manufacturing. Manufacturing. Manufacturer. 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 Mm -hmm. Termina el aire. Okay, very good. Next one, personal. 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 Mm -hmm. And expertise. 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 Okay, very good. So let's take a look at those. Um, sir, so nos decía, um, Mr. Castaneda, a branch son las sucursales. If you remember, we checked it in unit number one. ¿Qué más recuerdan, guys? What else do you remember from like this vocabulary here? Uh, for example, we have industry. I think that is new. Um, I think that is not new. What are some of us, guys? Which are new for you? ¿Hay alguna nueva de estos? Uh, yes. Headquarters. Headquarters. Okay. Headquarters. All right. So, headquarters. Okay. No, no, no. No es nueva. Ok, well, let's say, revisamos eh, qué otra, cuál no se recuerda. We can check them really quick. Hay otra palabra que no sepan. Any other word that you don't really know or you don't remember? Guest. 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 Ok, so we have guest. Eso no es nueva. Ok, ok. Oh, remember, um, hagamos la lista de las que no recuerden, let's say. Probably not new. Toda. But... <laughs> Toda. <laughs> Come on, guys. <laughs> ok, so let's take a look. Ok, vamos una por una. Let's go one by one. Entonces, remember, eh, si no las practicamos, no las usamos, se nos van a olvidar. Tal vez no sean nuevas, pero um, seguramente ya se nos olvidaron qué significan. So let's take a look at them. Eh, industry, I think el nombre lo dice, right? Se refiere con la industria, with companies and everything. Staff, what is the meaning of staff, guys? Incluso lo usamos en español, right? We use it in Spanish. Eh, es un personal que está como apoyo. 
Exactly. Por lo general es operaciones, right? So staff is de un área específica, uh, como un área de apoyo, as you said. Most of the times, si ustedes son de, um, de operaciones, you call them staff, si trabajan en el área de entrenamiento, staff es como su grupito, right? So staff is most of the times um, alguien que brinda like seguimiento o apoyo, depende de su empresa, you can be staff. Uh, we have networking. What's networking? Ahora todo el mundo usa esta palabra. So what, what do you understand by networking? Or network? Networking es como una, yeah. una red, pero de, 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 de personas que están relacionadas a mi mismo trabajo. Algo así. Okay, no, very no. nice. Yes, exactly. So your network, right? Like eh, todos los que se mueven en esa área. Uh -huh. That's a network. Um, so la usamos para internet, la usamos para eh, being in touch. So network es eso precisamente. Um, Redes, se, Redes, se, algo así. Uh -huh. Yeah, pero es como el vínculo, es como un vínculo entre personas eh, relacionadas. Um, so, especially, for example, ahora hay una plataforma donde ustedes pueden subir su, um, su CV, right? And, uh, y van creando redes, so that's pretty much networking. Uh, Branch nos decían que era sucursal, so very good. Uh, guest, what about guest or guests? ¿Se recuerdan, no, guys? Sí. Do you remember? Invitados o huéspedes. Mm -hmm. Invitados, exactly. Si trabajan en, en un hotel, por ejemplo, you have guests. Yes. Pero si es su empresa y tienen invitados de unas empresas extranjeras, o bien el cliente, o bien el dueño, or somebody like really important, they are your guest, right? So we have guests. Eh, ¿Qué era headquarters? Eh, recuerdo haberlo, eh, haberlo revisado con ustedes en the previous unit. What was headquarters, guys? Se relaciona mucho con branch. Como sede. Es la sede. Mm -hmm. Exactly, very good. So, uh, branch, y sucursales, small um, stores, small restaurants, small places in the country, in the city. But headquarters is the head, the one in main building, right? Um, what is a small talk? Any idea what is small talk? Is this new? Se, se compone de dos palabras, small talk. No importa si no saben, no, no hay problema. ¿Qué se les ocurre? Give me some ideas. What do you think could be? No sé, small talk. Como una conversación. Charla. Ok, uh -huh. yes, yes, small could be. Talk. Actually, a small, a small talk is an ability, right? So a small talking is like, um, imagine guys, for example, you are in the Seguro Social and you are waiting and you are bored because you don't have your cell phone. Y hay una persona next to you. ¿De qué hablarían? What would be the topic? Que no la tienen rápido, ¿eh? David? I'm sorry, David. ¿De qué comenzaría a hablar? What would be the topic? Como que la tensión es muy, la tensión del seguro es muy, muy lenta o algo así. Ah, ok. So you would start complaining. Se empezaría a quejar. <laughs> ok. So you would start complaining. Uh, what else? Uh, anything. Oh, for example? Um, the traffic, uh, okay. the, the, the food, okay. uh, uh, the, um, I don't, I don't, no sé cómo se dice. What do you want to say? ¿Qué quiere decir? What do you want to say? Uh, eh, es como in, introducir, o sea, lo, la, la dificultad que tengo es introducir la, la conversación, es decir, okay. eh, si yo quisiera abordar un tema, ¿cómo, cómo, cómo empezar a hacerlo? Exactly. Eso se llama small talk. So, uh -huh. small talk is actually that, you know. Um, like, I am with somebody new, ¿y de qué voy a hablar? 
¿Cómo le puedo decir hola? You know, and start a conversation. So small talking is exactly that, you know, like seeing somebody in seguro social and they be me, me comenzaría. Yeah, like, oh, okay, super, super uh, valid. So uh, small talk is uh, de la nada comenzar un tema. So just start talking and start a conversation, right? Guys, can you small talk in English? ¿Pueden empezar una conversación en English? What would be the, the topics um, that you would, you know, use in English? ¿Cuáles son algunos temas, like, super common de los que pueden hablar with somebody? Not in Spanish, because in the Spanish colors. we have a lot. Uh -huh. The colors. <laughs> colors. What's your favorite color? De la nada, like, what's your favorite color? <laughs> My favorite colors is okay. pink. Okay, okay. So, ¿cómo iniciarían, guys? So, with colors. Imagine, imagine, for example, that you go to a tunco, um, you see a person from another country, y le quieren hablar. ¿De qué comenzarían a hablar? What would, how would you start? What question would you ask? Si es de otro país, uh, de donde nos visita, como su okay. país, okay. si le gusta El Salvador. Okay. So general questions. Where are you from? Uh -huh. Do you speak English? Okay, okay. Yeah, that sounds good. So also, like super common topics que usamos en, el, in, in Spanish is la hora, right? Uh, excuse me, what time is it? And then comenzamos, oh, el clima está caluroso, and all those things, right? Um, so that is actually small talk. Hablar de un tema y lo vamos a hacer ahora. We're going to try to do it. Eh, hablar de algo. Just to talk, you know. So just to start a conversation going. Um, next one, we have manufacture. What was manufacture? ¿Se recuerdan? I think, uh -huh, yeah. Like industrial things, right? Like creating, making. Mm -hmm. uh, personal, super important. Si se fijan, no es personal, but it's personal. Um, because personal is like staff. Es todas las personas que trabajan en una empresa, right? So personal se refiere a algo mío, like a personal problem, a personal situation. Pero personal son las personas, like all the people. Super important. So personal es sobre mí algo individual. And personal is el grupo de personas con el que yo trabajo, right? Or that are in the company. Very similar to staffing. And the last one, expertise. Guys, ¿en qué tienen expertise? What do you have expertise on? So we use, I have expertise in. What do you use, what do you have expertise in? En que tienen experiencia, en que tienen, um, like, mucho conocimiento, right? What do you have expertise on? ¿Hay algún tema que manejen, like, super, super good? Talking Spanish, teacher. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, but talking, but in Spanish, tenemos incluso esta expertise, right? Que es mucha experiencia con algo. So what do you have expertise? I mean, in, in Spanish, we're talking Son about como Spanish. expertos, ¿no? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Eh, De un tema I, específico. Salvadorian food. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. So Salvadorian, I have expertise in tasting and criticizing food. Yo me he puesto como master chef, you know, y a evaluar, but <laughs> para que no. So, okay, so I have expertise in food, okay. Probably Salvadorian culture. Hay muchas personas que tienen expertise uh, con videojuegos, you know, or um, con todo lo relacionado con tecnología. Guys, what do you have expertise on? De sus habilidades, en que tienen experiencia. What do you have expertise on? In finance. En cómo declarar renta, guys. Those are important things. So, ¿Qué es lo que ustedes pueden hacer like, super, super well? Customer service. Okay, in customer service. Ah, oh, very nice. 
Okay, in Spanish or in English, Abigail? Abby, in Spanish. ¿Cómo? In Spanish, a customer service in Spanish. Sí, en español, en español. Okay, y próximamente in English too. <laughs> okay, very nice. Guys, and the rest? La vez anterior, Mr. Castaneda nos contaba, for example, eh, un poquito de finanzas, I think. So, a little bit about his area. So, creería que tiene expertise in finance, right? Yes, miss. Okay. Eh, Jorge, no sé si estoy mal, but I think that you are an engineer, aren't you? Mm, yeah, teacher. I'm a programmer. You are a programmer? What is your expertise? It's a... My expertise is a uh, SQL Server database. Ah, databases. Oh my God. Okay. So, databases. Programming. Okay. Um, I, I program uh, Visual Basic. Oh, <coughs> okay. Very nice. So, you have a lot of knowledge. Okay. Guys, nice. What about the rest of you? What, what is your expertise? Hi, Griselda. Griselda, what is your expertise? What do you have expertise on? Expertise is like lo manejan derecho y al revés, right? You know a lot about that topic. So what is your expertise on? Griselda, aren't you a lawyer? ¿Verdad que es abogada? I believe you are a lawyer. No sé si Griselda está acá. And she's not. Hi, Javier. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Javier, what is what is your expertise? What um, do you have expertise on? My expertise is uh, in making financial statement. Oh, okay. So Oh, you are an accountant, right? Yes. Oh, okay. So making financial statements. Okay. Um. So. ¿Sabe cómo me devuelve más de renta? <laughs> Do you have expertise in that area? <laughs> Ganando menos. No. Ah, ok. Not a good recommendation. <laughs> ok. I'm looking for an expert in that area, you know. <laughs> ok. Um, so, what about the rest? Eduardo, what about you? Mr. Cruz, are you home? Are you on your way? No lo he escuchado these days, I think. Lupita, what about you, Lupita? Abigail Bane. Hi, Bane. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Miss, what is your ex what do you have expertise on? Yes, um, like una super experta. What do you have some expertise on? Bueno, en proceso de liberación de paquetes en aduana. Oh, you work for customs? Yes. Oh, Vanessa, my friend. You should have said that before. My new okay. friend. Okay, my new friend. That's right. But, uh, oh, okay, Eduardo, thank you. No worries, Lupita, too. Uh, but you said, like, uh, like how to free some products? ¿Y cómo importaría exportar? Do you know the process too? Man, ¿Trabaja mm. en esa área, Vanna? Eh, importación. Oh, okay. Uh, sí. Do you have expertise like in, in import? Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. perfect. Exactly. So expertise is that, right? I have experience, but expertise is como I master that. So, yo lo super manejo. That, those are like pretty much part of the words that we're going to be checking. Really good to know. So, now, guys, you know a little bit about the rest. Ay, perdón. Let's move that. on here. No se preocupe, miss. No worries. No worries. Take your time. So, we were just checking like what you have expertise on because I told them that estaba intentando conseguir más dinero de la red. <laughs> but, um, Javier had a really bad recommendation, so I'm not going to follow it. <laughs> okay. Okay, guys. So in the meantime, um, I have a couple of conversations. El día de ahora, today's objective 
es pedir cosas, you know? So, we are going to learn eh, cómo pedir, how to ask for some things, pero de una manera bien cortés, like in a very polite way. Um, so, for example, I was asking Javier eh, si podía ayudarme, you know, a que me den más derretas. So, my request, my question is like, could you help me to get more money from taxes? So, utilizamos could para hacer requests, para hacer bien polite. Probably um, you are familiar with the expression can, like, can you help me? Can you lend me some money? Pero can no es cortés. It's a question, pero es un poquito, no suena eh, formal. Could is bien formal. So let's take a look at these conversations. Um, vamos a pedir, we are going to be asking today uh, for help with some specific things. And I have the first uh, conversation here. Está bastante easy, I think. Um, let me read it. Y luego ustedes me ayudan, you know, to practice it. So dialogue number one says, hey, Bono, could you lift that box for me, please? Sure, but what is in this box? It's so heavy. That's my old books. I'll donate it to an orphanage near here. Wow, that's great. I think I should get my old books and donate it too. Where should I put this box? Oh, I just put it in the car. Thank you. Anytime. So guys, eh, si alguien me dice thank you, ¿de qué forma puedo responder? What are some polite ways to say de nada? You're welcome. You're welcome, okay. And here tenemos otra expresión, anytime. So if a person tells you, oh, gracias por ayudarme, thank you for helping me. Le puedo decir, you're welcome, de nada, or I can tell the person anytime, cuando guste, cuando quiera, cuando necesite, right? So anytime. So we are like, if you take a look, it's bien polite. The conversation is super formal, but very, very polite. Now, guys, repeat with me, please. Uh, vamos a regresar un poquito de pronunciation y luego la practicamos. Number one, lift. 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 What is the meaning of lift? Lift. lift. What is lift? Lift. Yes. Levantar. Le levantar, lift. exactly. No es una E, pero no es una I. Es como un medio. No es lift, no es left, pero es como E, I. So, lift. 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 Cierren los labios, digan lo rápido. Lift. Y ahí lift. sale. Ok. So, um, in English, ahí like, tiene dos sonidos. Tenemos I y tenemos E. Guys, repitan conmigo. Y. Y. Ahora, acorten esa I, díganla rápido. I. Ese es el sonido. El corto que vamos a decir acá. Lift. 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 Pero suena como I, E. Ajá, es lift. lift. No es lift. 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 Ok. Lift. Next one. Lift. Um, lift. Orphanage. 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 Okay. Orphanage. Orphanage. Should. 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 Okay. Very nice. And the last one, anytime. 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 Okay. anytime. Okay. Very good. Ya las vamos a practicar. We're going to practice them in a moment. But in the meantime, vocabulary nuevo. Do you see new words? No new words, no new vocabulary. Orphanage. Orphanage, probably. Okay, the person says, I will donate it to an orphanage. Uh, ¿Qué creen que es un orphanage? What do you think this is? Orphanage. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So an orphanage, because it receives donations. Okay. Orphanage. Yeah, donations, right? Next one, guys. I have just one word. Y luego les practicamos. Just let's read them and then we practice them. Um, okay, here it says. Second conversation. Let me read it. Y luego ustedes me ayudan. It says, eh, Lisa, Sorry, could you accompany me to the bookstore this afternoon? Sorry says, I'm sorry. I couldn't. I have to go to the dentist. I've made, voy a escribir una palabra acá. 
I have, vamos a hacerlo largo. I have made an appointment with the doctor. What about tomorrow? Could you go with me to the bookstore? I have nothing to do tomorrow. So I will go with you. Great. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay, guys. So uh, repeat with me, please. I have made. I have, I have made. made. Okay. Uh, okay. And vamos a repetirlo ahora más cortito como está arriba. I've made. I've made. I've made. Or I I've. have made. Como prefieran leerlo, es lo mismo. I, I, I have I made. I've made. I've eh, lo pueden leer I've primero made. largo. You can read it long. Y luego intentan despacito ir diciéndolo corto. Right? Next one, guys. Appointment. Appointment. Very good. Appointment. What appointment. is the meaning of appointment? Como cita. Uh -huh. Como una cita, exactly. Pero con un doctor, right? Un doctor. So uh -huh. appointment, <laughs> yes. No es algo romántico, right? But an appointment is uh, with the doctor, with the dentist, um, uh, to get the visa, like algo muy formal. Okay, guys. So these are the two conversations we have. Preguntas with vocabulary. Estamos bien con vocabulario. Do you have any question? Any doubt? Alguna palabra that you're not sure? Cold? ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Could. 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 La L no suena, entonces suena como could. Y, y cuando se hace okay, la contracción con el not, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Mm, very good question. Si so, lo pronunciamos como could, yo lo escucho could, yo lo pronuncio could. So ustedes encuentren la forma como lo escuchan. Cuando luego el negativo oh. couldn't. couldn't. Suena como couldn't. Couldn't. So, I'm sorry, I couldn't. So, couldn't. I couldn't. That's the one. Okay. Entonces, la, la unión con el you es algo así como could you. Uh, de could. hecho, yeah, I cuando could. se unen estas dos es could you. Could, could you. you. Uh -huh. could you You're too. right, okay. yes. Because normally los sonidos se van uniendo, right? We go ahead and link a lot of sounds. Okay, dudas con, la, eh, con el vocabulario, no doubts, no questions. Okay, I'm gonna take that as a note. Okay, guys, so vamos a practicarlo. We're gonna practice this because it's very important que um, vayamos revisando que lo estamos pronunciando correctamente, right? And uh, eh, sobre todo that we interact with other people. Um, guys, vamos a practicarlo por cinco minutos. Yo les voy a estar proyectando la conversación, you know. Vamos a practicar ambas. We're going to practice both conversations. And uh, um, oh, let me see. Creo que algunos todavía no han llegado a la casa, but espero que si se quedan solos, guys, el compañero no ha llegado, please. Eh, Presione el que dice ayuda para poder moverlo y que esté con alguien que, eh, que sí esté en casa, right? Somebody who is participating para que no me lo dejen ahí forever alone. <laughs> That is really important. So les voy a estar eh, mostrando acá las conversaciones para que ustedes no las eh, tengan que estar buscando or anything. Tenemos cinco minutos. Les voy a cambiar después de dos minutos esta a la siguiente para que también practiquemos the second conversation. Eh, tomen notas si hay algo que no están seguros, right? Or call me, o eh, presionen el botón de pedir ayuda y con gusto yo llego por ahí. Okay, guys, so we have five minutes. Vámonos a los grupos, please. I'm gonna share my presentation. And there we go. Okay, guys, let's go. Conversation one, so let's join it.
Thank you for coming back, guys. Okay, okay, okay. So let's go ahead and check it out. Me falta quién es en el grupo todavía. I have to steal. Okay, so mientras los compañeros you cannot take their time and come back. Uh, preguntas, guys. Dudas con vocabulario. Dudas con pronunciación. Hay algo que les gustaría que revisemos before practicing. Mejor dicho, antes de escucharles, before listening to you. Nothing. I'm gonna take that as a no. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's get started here. Um can I please have two volunteers? Um guys can get it. I just need Annie and Bona. Están bastante cortitos, they are very short. Meet Miss. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. So, thank you, Mr. Casanet. Mr. Casanet, escoja su compañero. Select your, like your person. Pero vean, el que no me está viendo ahorita. Eh, especialmente si tiene la cámara apagada, please. <laughs> ah, qué complicado. Vamos con... Uh, quién será? Uh, Abigail. Okay. Okay. So, um, Abigail, um, mm, are you with us, Abigail? Yes, teacher. Perfect. Perfect. So, um, which one do you want to read? Quién quiere comenzar? Who wants to start? Yo. Hey, okay, perfect. Hey, Bona. Could you leave? The book for me, please. Sure, but what is in this box? It's so heavy. Tent my old books. I don't eat one orphany near her. Uh, wow, that's great. I seen I shall get my old books and donate it too. Where shall I put this box? Who's put in the car? Thank you. Anytime. Okay, very nice. Sounds really good, guys. Um, actually, super clear, easy to follow. Solamente con esta palabra por acá. That we have here, right? So here. La demás, guys, very nice job. Guys, repiten conmigo. Here. Here. Mm -hmm. Se parece bastante a escuchar como here. Do you hear me? Es la misma pronunciación. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, I need just two more. Abigail, seleccione una persona, please. Select one person. Mm. Emmanuel. Manuel, okay, so Manuel, there you go. Manuel, seleccione a su compañero. So select your person. Like your classmate or your peer. Wendy? Fue la que pasó ahorita, no, ahorita. No, that was Abigail. Es que Wendy también este, el segundo nombre es Abigail, pero oh, no okay. le ha escuchado. Abby, um, Wendy está con nosotros. Are you with us? Vanessa. Um, no. I haven't heard her. Bane? Sí. Eh, I'm sorry. I'm okay, Lisa. so if you want, you can be Lisa. You can start in Manuel Fallows. Mm -hmm. eh, Sari, could you accompany me, me to the book store this afternoon? I'm sorry. I couldn't. I have to go to the, the dentist. I have made an appointment with the doctor. 
What about tomorrow? Could you go with me to the book store? I have nothing to do tomorrow, so I will go with you. Uh, great. See you tomorrow. See you. Okay, very nice. Okay, sounds really good. Okay, so exactly. Normally it's just the cool, right? Um, and guys, solamente uh, repeat with me this expression. It says great. So repeat great. conmigo, please. Great. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, hay muchas palabras que se parecen and una es ellas son muchas palabras very similar. So great. Pueden incluso subir un poquito el tono de voz eh, para que se sienta que de verdad, you know. Great. <laughs> like, oh, great. Uh -huh, great. So great. Great. See you yes. tomorrow. Uh -huh, exactly, exactly. Porque es como, ay, qué bueno, right? So, oh, great. Uh -huh, so, para que suene un poquito más natural. Very good job. Okay, so, ¿cómo utilizamos este could? Normally, we use it eh, to talk about, like, um, some requests, estoy pidiendo algo, I'm eh, asking for something. Si ustedes se recuerden, o si lo vieron por ahí, el pasado de can es could, right? O podemos utilizar could para hablar de cosas en pasado, so we can use it, pero también eh, we can use eh, like this could para hacer polite requests, right? Um, and uh, so let's take a look a little bit at this part and take a look at the following. Um, in general, el could lo utilizo para preguntas and I'm going to use the following here. Wait a second. Wait a second. There we go. So, uh, for example, si voy a hacer preguntas, normally voy a utilizar like, would I? Could you, right? So if you take a look, es lo mismo para todos. Um, so si uso tercera persona, could she, right? Could he, could it, podría ser, could it be, right? So I can ask questions um, with could, with all the different pronouns. Les estoy escribiendo this way because es para preguntas. Con preguntas, el could va primero. So, uh, it is just up to us to check cuál de estas podemos utilizar. Take a look at the first converse, uh, the first sentence. And you help me, guys. It says, close your window. Please, estamos pidiendo, right? We are asking for something. Uh, close the, your window, please. It is very cold in here. ¿Qué podemos utilizar? What can we use to complete equation or request number one? Uh, you. Could you? Exactly. Could you? Could you close your window, please? It's very cold in here. Podría cerrarla? No le digo can. Es que se puede. And I want to make this part clear. Si yo puedo decirle, can you close the window? Y no hay problema. Pero could es más formal. That's the point. Number two. What can we use in number two, guys? Could you, maybe? It's a, okay, so could you open the door, the door for me, please? I'm carrying mm -hmm. all these books. ¿Podrías abrir la puerta? Could you open the door for me? Si necesito que al, alguien haga algo, esta es la pregunta más común. For me. Uh, could you do something for me, right? Could you do me a favor? So could, could you? That's the most common. Number three, guys. Oh. Anna isn't at home. Leave a message for her, please. ¿Qué puedo utilizar over here? Oh, could Anna isn't at home. Could she? Mm, pero veamos lo que dice. Mm. Um, Anna no está en la casa, dice. Mm -hmm. Oh, Anna isn't at home. Mm. ¿Quién va a dejar el mensaje y para quién? Yo. Or I. Or I. Ah, could I leave a message for her? ¿Podría yo dejar un mensaje? Could I? ¿Podría yo llamarte más tarde? ¿Cómo le digo a alguien o cómo pregunto si le puedo llamar más tarde? Could I uh, call? Exactly. So, could I call you later? 
Could I call right. you back, right? So call back es una de las expresiones más comunes del teléfono. Like, te puedo llamar más tarde. Could I call you back? Call back. Could I call back, right? Podría yo. So um, here in number three, la persona está pidiendo permiso, right? Could I leave a message for her, please? Podría yo dejar un mensaje para ella? Mm -hmm. uh, number four, waiter. So we're talking about the waiter. So waiter, see the wine list now? Thank you. Imagine you are in a restaurant. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What could be the question if you want to be polite? Could I, could I, tell me. Could I, could could I see I, the wine yeah, list? The list now. ¿Podría ver la lista de vinos? So, could uh -huh. I? Mm -hmm. Podría yo, right? Could I see the wine list? Very good. Number five, you guys, ayuding those help us too. Number five, Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Oh my God, guys, I don't have money. Ya me lo gasté. I spent all my money. I don't get my money till next week. Y quiero pedir prestado. What is the question? Will you? Will she? Oh, what will you? Puedes. Es como que le diga eh, Manuel. Manuel, I don't get my money till next week. ¿Cómo, cómo, cómo pido prestado? How can I ask for money? Could you lend me? Could you lend me? Exactly. Could you lend me $20 and I will pay you then? Right? So, could you, puedes tú prestarme. So, ¿cómo puedo decirle a alguien, me puedes prestar esto? Could you? Lend me. Okay, now, super important. And voy a hacer un pequeño paréntesis here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, excuse me. Now, I want to make a big difference here, guys, because it's important. Tenemos lend y tenemos, oh, wait. Tenemos lend y tenemos borrow. Ambas son prestar. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? La que acabamos de ver dice, could you lend me? Lend. Puedes prestar. Quiero dinero. Could you lend me five dollars? Me puedes prestar el teléfono. Could you lend me your phone? Ayúdenme con preguntas. ¿Qué puedo preguntar, guys? ¿O qué puedo pedir prestado? Could you lend me your book? Your... Could you lend me your book? Uh -huh. your could, you, phone? could you lend me computer? Could you lend me your laptop, your computer? Exactly. Now, con borrow, ¿cuál es la diferencia? Well, no es una diferencia significado. La diferencia es cómo se usa. Con borrow, yo no voy a usar you. Voy a usar could I. Could I borrow your... Ahora sí va a cambiar porque yo quiero pedirle prestado, pero de una forma diferente. Again, could you lend me your book? ¿Me prestas tu libro? Prestas Number two, libro. could I borrow your book? Me prestas tu libro. Estoy diciendo lo mismo, pero estructura diferente. Different structure. So I want just to, um, you to have this clear, right? So, guys, quiero... Uh, let me see. I need... I need five dollars. ¿Cuál sería la pregunta? What can the question be? I am broke. I just need five. So what can be the question? Eh, sería con, 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 con cualquiera con de los dos con, está eh. bien, porque los dos significan lo mismo. But si yo le quiero pedir prestado dinero, ¿cómo lo pido? Eh, eh, could you lend me money, Why please? Could you lend me money? Uh -huh. Pero si quiero utilizar I borrow, buy, también. Uh, could, could I borrow your uh, $20? Exactly. Could I borrow? Pero si los dos significan iguales, ¿cuál es realmente la diferencia? La diferencia es en estructura. La diferencia es que si se fija, en la primera con lend, utilicé you lend. En la segunda utilicé I borrow. So, porque oh. el sujeto es diferente. Uh, pero estoy diciendo exactamente lo mismo. No, um, for example, yo le quiero decir, yo te puedo prestar dinero. No, ¿Cómo diríamos eso? How can I tell a person, oh, no te preocupes, yo te puedo prestar. I could lend or borrow your money. ¿Cuál de las dos sería? 
Yo tengo borro. dinero. Borro. I have money. Ok, wait, wait, wait. Borro. Yo tengo dinero. I have money. Tengo 10 dólares. <ríe> Para desperdiciar. No, I have money. Y quiero dárselo. Quiero darle prestado, right? ¿Cuál sería? I could lend you, lend you? or I could borrow you. I could lend you. I could lend you. Exactly. Esa es la gran diferencia. I could lend you some. I could lend you some money. So lend, por lo general, es como de mí hacia usted. Si yo le digo, could you lend me, es usted me va a dar a mí el dinero. But in the other one, borrow, se refiere a la misma persona, right? Um, so, acá no puedo decir, I could borrow your money. No tendría sentido. It doesn't make sense. Porque yo estoy prestando dinero. Guys, no sé si esto es confusing. Sí, teacher, no entiendo. Ok, ok. So, again, es lo mismo. It is exactly the same. But the difference is solamente en la estructura. Um, lo, guiémonos por las preguntas, because esos son las que más se utilizan here. So, could you lend me? Me puedes prestar. Could I borrow? Um, es lo mismo, me puedes prestar. Pero los, la pregunta cambió here, if you pay attention. So, well, I could. Lend. Okay. Now, take a look at the first one. I could borrow your book. I could lend you your book. So, la, la oración incluso diferente. Okay. Take a look at the two sentences, guys, and tell me how different they are. So, look at them, porque esa es la forma como se usa. Eh, nos, nos enchivolemos tanto, so let's try not to mix it up, you know, and confuse it all. Eh, solamente let's take a look at the, at the sentences y nos vamos por ahí. Um, if I can say, if I want to say, for example, uh, look at the second. I could lend you your book. ¿Tiene sentido esta parte? Does it make sense? Quiero ver, I could lend you, no. Es, Guys. Uh, mm -hmm. El, el you, you, lo siento, lo siento mero raro. Yeah, está súper raro. What about okay. the first? ¿Tiene sentido? Does it make sense the first? I could borrow mm -hmm. your book. Uh, mm, no. Actually, Oops. ninguna de las okay. dos tiene sentido. And it's sí. just because... El could, el borrow y el normalmente se usan en preguntas. Normally we use them in questions porque estamos preguntando, right? And uh, lend, vamos a manejarlo como lend es prestar, and borrow es tomar prestado. We're not gonna, no nos eche volemos tanto con esa parte. So let's try to have it just that clear, right? Lend, voy a prestar algo. Borrow, voy a tomar prestado. Let's keep it that way. And no le vamos a seguir dando vueltas, you know, y vamos a llegar al mismo tema um, after that. Ya lo vamos a practicar, we're going to practice this because we need to practice it, pero that is the point. Lend, prestar, borrow, tomar prestado. Um, now, uh, coming back, give me just a second, because estábamos en number five, que dice precisamente eso. Uh, Mary, I don't get my money till next week. Lend me 20 and I will pay you then. Obviamente, como yo no tengo dinero, yo necesito que usted me preste. Mi pregunta es, could you lend me? Me puede usted prestar, right? Me puedes prestar. So, could you lend me? Um, so, me puedes prestar. Remember, could I borrow? Sí podría ser utilizado, pero no acá. Eh, ya tenemos lend. Number six. What can we use in number six? I like this jacket a lot. Miss, una pregunta. El, yes. el, till, el till ten, ¿cómo, cómo se traduce? Uh, es de acá, till. No, pero al final, después de los eh, 20 dólares, till ten. Es como, es como until. So until es hasta, pero till es la forma eh, informal. So we use until, hasta que me paguen, right? 
or us the fin de mes until the end of the month. Uh, and the last one says till then, hasta entonces. Mm -hmm. So till or until, that's the mm -hmm. one. Um, okay, guys, help me out with number six. I like this jacket a lot. Try it on, please. Si voy a comprar, what can I use in here? I like this jacket a lot. Could I try it? Could I try it on? Uh -huh. Puedo yo probármela? Me la puedo probar. So could I try it on? Exactly. And the last one, guys, number seven. I didn't understand what you said to me. Could you repeat it, please? Could you repeat it, please? Exactly. And that's pretty much the idea of could. So lo utilizamos para polite requests. Um, do those guys, do you have any question, any doubt? Yeah, vamos a practicar un poquito de Lenny and Borrow, so no worries about it. But I just wanted to make sure we got no questions in that part. Are we okay? Are we good? Guys, the MA, yes, no, maybe. <laughs> Give me some confirmation. I feel like me siento en visto sometimes. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at uh, the material we have. Y tenemos my polite requests at the workplace. So, hay algunos requests que siempre nos lo hacen. Here we have a couple of them. We have, could you print out the budget file? Quienes trabajan con presupuestos, right? Right away, Rita. Like, right now. Would you mind opening the window? Tenemos también la expresión, would you mind? ¿Te importaría? Would you mind opening the window? Sure, no problem. So parte de los polite requests que hacemos es could. Y también tenemos would you mind? Vamos a ahorita trabajar con could. So, guys, what are the most common requests that you use in your workplace? ¿Qué es lo que les piden que hagan? Take a look at this one. It says, could you call me later? Could you make 10 copies of this paper? Could you contact the tech support? Right? Podrías hacerlo. And vamos a trabajar un segundo. We're going to work on a second one. Que también es polite request. Um, y dice, would you mind calling the plan manager? Es lo mismo. Could and would you mind? Solo que si se fijan, cambia la forma de la pregunta. Would you mind getting an appointment with the HR for me? Would you mind sending this box to the cleaning department? Now, um, ¿qué cambió en la segunda, guys? ¿Qué cambia cuando utilizo would you mind? El verbo. El verbo. Vamos a utilizar ING. So, let's take a look at some of the requests we normally ask. Could you mind, uh, wait. Podemos usar, algunas veces van a escuchar do you mind, could you, etc. So, let me just write it down. Could you? Could you call me later? Y tenemos con would you, would you mind? Después de mind, siempre voy a usar ing. Entonces tengo call, lo convierto en calling. Would you mind calling me later? Es lo, el único cambio que voy a hacer con estos dos, pero estoy diciendo exactamente lo mismo. Could you call me later? Would you mind calling me later? Now, guys, if my request, si lo que les pido es, could you come on Saturday? ¿Cómo pueden utilizar, cómo podemos utilizar esto con would you mind? Ayúdenme con la primera. Would you mind coming on Saturday? Uh -huh. Exactly, coming on Saturday. Solo voy a ir cambiándolo. Y digo exactly, exactly the same. So if I have, for example, could you complete the report for me? Como sería con would you mind? Would you mind completing? completing? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Would you mind? completing the report, report for me. For me. Uh -huh. Exactly. So it's lo mismo, solo que vamos cambiando las palabras, right? Okay, guys, 
These are common requests. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes in your notebook, on, your, on a piece of paper, somewhere. I want you to write al menos cinco de los requests que su jefe le hacen o que ustedes hacen a sus employees. No sé si ustedes tienen subordinados. In case you have, ¿qué es lo que ustedes les piden que hagan? O si tienen contacto directo con el jefe o, o con el dueño de la empresa, all right? Or the most important person. Um, ¿Cuáles serían parte de los normal requests de las solicitudes, cosas que quieren que alguien más haga por ustedes, right? Um, al menos cinco, guys. Let's write five. I'll give you five minutes. So, ¿qué les, ¿cuáles son los requests? Teacher, ¿cómo sería como archivar el papel? Eh, podemos utilizar ser? cualquiera de los dos. Cualquiera de los dos. Could you, uh, could, or would you mind? Es exactamente lo mismo, solamente que recuerde que después de mind va a utilizar el ING. Es la única diferencia. Um, so, archivar el papel, right? Well, depende. Podemos utilizar save. Podemos utilizar keep track. O podemos utilizar a file. Cualquiera de los tres. And um, Debra, también hay otra expresión que podemos usar. Todo depende de qué es lo que quiera decir. Podemos usar también put away. Como put away es como guardar. Right? So... Uh, that's another way. There are a lot of ways. Let me know if you have some questions, guys. We can definitely check it out.
Very nice job, guys. I'm reading your sentences. Really cool. They sound good. Um, Mr. Castaneda, just with the the goal. Um, hay una expresión que utilizamos cuando hablar de frecuencia, like for example, ¿cuál es el el objetivo del día? La palabra cambia un poquito, que es your daily goal. I'm gonna write it here. Está súper bien. Solamente es como también de para frasear. Sí. Um, so like, would you mind sharing your daily goal, como tu objetivo? Or... Daily. Daily goal. Mm -hmm. Ah, Pero okay. Único. That's the only Thank thing. Very nice. It's really good. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I Mr. share it here. It, yes. It, it, for example, it's uh, valid this year. Uh, could you close the branch tonight? Uh oh. Um, no. No, because branch is too big. Uh, maybe the store. Uh, could you, could you close? Maybe, uh -huh. could you close the store or could you close the office? Um, es que branch no es como para el lugar físico. Oh, okay. La palabra branch es como la palabra generalizada, let's say. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, it's so wide. Would yes. you send the payment okay. report? Okay, okay, very nice. I really like it, guys. So your your examples are super technical. They are really good. Um, Jorge, I Thing. Could you get some? Would you mind attending a training? No, they're just fine. Okay, very nice, very good. Guys, and the rest of them. Could you help me? Okay. Would you mind entering the raw material? Would you mind doing anything for me? Okay. Um, just a quick question, Manuel. Entering se refiere como a guardar el material, la materia prima, ¿verdad? The raw material. O ingresar o entrar o algo así. Es que, o sea, es que si es como físico que ellos van a guardar, sería would you mind eh, putting away, quizás. Le importaría guardar. Uh -huh. Entering. Would you mind entering? Sí se puede, aunque utilizaríamos quizás más la like, eh, putting away, que es guardar. Ok. Ok, very nice. I think we got it. Guys, usamos también would you mind para que lo practiquemos un poquito. Would you mind, right? So we can use it as well. One more minute, guys, and then we move on to the next activity for today. So one more minute. Already, eh, Lupita, just quick question. Eh, ¿A qué se refiere con Erin? Like, ¿le importaría? What do you mean by Erin? Ay, me equivoqué este. 
de comer. Oh, ok, ok, ok. Eating. Ok, ok, yeah, sounds good. <laughs> no problem. That sounds really good. Ok, guys, excellent examples. Really nice. And now we're going to put like all of these examples into practice, right? And with the following activity. And I have E right here. Give me one sec. Ok. So, guys, the activity is the following. It says make a conversation. Eh, vamos a unirnos en parejas one more time. We're going to go in pairs. And it says here, use the new vocabulary to make a dialogue. So, vamos a utilizar las palabras que vimos al inicio. We're going to try to use most of them, al menos cinco de ellas, at least five of them. And then we're going to present it. Eh, sé que algunos todavía, you know, no están full here. So hopefully, podamos escuchar a la mayoría. I really hope so. Eh, no van a utilizarlas todas because there are so many. And staff, decíamos que es lo mismo que personnel. Uh, they are very similar. Headquarters, está relacionada con branching or branch. Uh, guys, teníamos expertise, right? Small talk, for, for example. En realidad, esa palabra no la utilizamos eh, much. Porque small talk es algo que se hace, right? Hablar de un tema cualquiera. So, vamos a utilizar este vocabulario. Uh, try to use it. Utilizando también lo que acabamos de ver. Que son hacer solicitudes. Make requests. Eh, pedir ayuda con algo. So, I don't know. Imagínense que trabajen juntos, right? Uno de ustedes es el empleado. The other person is the um, boss employee, right? Um, and we can, like, have a very brief conversation. Eh, puede ser de algo real, it can be something real, and uh, then we present it. Guys, tenemos 10 minutos para crearla, pueden escribirla, pero sí les pediría que el momento de presentarla no la lean, sino que intenten recordarse qué es lo que estuvieron practicando, right? Pero claro, pueden tomar notas, you can take notes. Um, so I'm going to send you. Eh, si en algún momento quedan solitos, porfa, den clic en pedir ayuda en el signo de interrogación. Para que no se me quede fuera de ver el um, So, guys, let's go there. We have 10 minutes. Creémosla. Let's work it. Let's work it out. And then we present. Eh, again, les estoy presentando la... Um, I'm showing the same presentation en los grupos para que no tengan que copiarla o take a picture or anything. So, let's go.
Teacher, ya podemos empezar, ya pasó a los 10 minutos. Noelia, ya están listos. Are you ready? Oh, Dev, were you able to practice with them? Hi, Isaias. Hey guys, how did it go? Hello there. Um, so were you able to complete the conversation? Pudieron completar la conversación, guys. Were you able to complete it? Creo que algunos todavía estaban like working on it, right? En el grupo que estaba, sí, miss. Okay. Okay, very nice. Give me one. Hi, miss. Guys, Hi, let's, miss. let's escuchar. I come back. Can you hear me? Yes, miss. I come back. Oh, les escucho super cortados. Me lo deben escuchar bien. Can you hear me well? Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Yes, miss. Oh no, it's me out there. Don't just give me one second. Sorry, let me try with the loudspeaker. Eh, porque los escucho bastante cortado. So um, for some reason you're breaking a little bit. Okay, guys. So um, the idea was like to practice a little bit. Eh, of course, um, la podían escribir. So you could like take some notes. Pero la idea es no leerlo, you know, but eh, que lo practicaran lo suficiente como para que les hubiera natural. So the more natural, uh, the better. Um, I have four groups. So let's try to listen to them all. Vamos a intentar escucharlos a la mayoría, if it is possible. Um, so who is ready, guys? Okay, so let's do it in order. Let's go with group number one. Um, I have a turn. I have Bane, I have Jorge. Creería que Wendy no pudo unírselas. And Abigail pudo participar con ellos. Were you able to participate with the group? <coughs> Abby? I think probably not. Okay, guys, so um, are you ready? Están listos, guys? Eh, Jorge, ¿vale? Este, cada uno hizo su diálogo en cuanto a nosotros, de, según eh, en, en la rama en, en la que está cada uno. Okay, uh, ¿cómo lo hicieron cada uno? What do you mean? Bueno, yo lo, bueno, lo que entendimos, ¿verdad? Fue que era de hacer un diálogo con las palabras que aparecían mm -hmm. ahí. Que yes, con las personas dejado. que estaban. That's Ajá, right. Sí. Entonces, no, no los compartimos eh, también por medio de, del chat. De, no lo practicaron. De, eh, no, no, solamente lo creamos más que todo. Okay, so 
Ok, no problem. Hagamos algo, póngase de acuerdo con Jorge. So get in agreement with Jorge. Porque creo que Wendy y Abigail no pudieron estar con ustedes. And uh, presentemos uno. Igual lo vamos a improvisar by the end of the day. Eh, de eso se trata, right? De poder improvisar. And si me preguntan algo, puedo responderle. Um, so pónganse de acuerdo más o menos por dónde va. Because that was the idea. Que practiquemos uno solo y que lo practiquen. Para que practiquen speaking, right? Um, let's go ahead and let's check the second one. Eh, mientras tanto, um, Lupita Manuel. En nivel, creo que Edwin no se unió con ustedes, right? Yeah. All right. Uh, do you have your dialogue ready? Ivet. Yes. Hi, Ivet. Hi. You go to the company? Yes, of course. Uh, could you make some time for me? Sure. What did you do? Could you deliver this document uh, to a job? To a boss, perdón. Yes. To a boss? Yes, right now. Yes, it's very important. That's it. Uh, thank you for helping me. Anytime. Oh, okay. That was actually very nice. So that was very good. Grammatically talking good. It was clear. Eh, parte. Eh, oh, I really like that you included like any time in those expressions. Creo que was like, uh, thank you for it. Um, quizás esa palabrita como agradecer solamente podríamos... Eh, Mejorar un poquito, like, uh, thank you for helping, or thanks for your help. Eh, oh, un poquito mejor. But very nice job. Really, really good. Right? good. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys, let's go with this next one. Um, so I have... Um, this guy is Kuren. Uh, David, Debra, eh, Javier, and creo que Mr. Cruz was not able to join you. Uh, guys, are you ready? Uh, David, where are Hello, you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> Hi there. Uh, let me take a look. So I got you, I got Javier, and I got Debra. Guys, were you able to complete your conversation? Um, nobody was in the in the conversation. No, oh, okay, that's totally fine. Well, vamos a improvisar. So let's improvise it a little bit. Um, guys, when cuando los compañeros los dejan solitos, um, like uh, you can click on help y con gusto, you know, los los muevo para que no me los dejen por ver alone. Remember. Lo más importante es practicar speaking. So we really need to practice on that. Um, so David, mientras tanto vamos a improvisar un poco. So let's improvise a little bit. Creo que Javier está acá. I think I heard Javier yes. right there. Okay. Uh, right. So imagine that this is like um, a boss talking to an employee, right? And uh, so you can ask, for some specific activities that you need a uh, Javier to do. So David, so lights, camera, and action. Hi, Javier. Hi. How are you? Hi, thank you. Where are you working? I work in, in industrial company. Oh, really? What are, what are you do there? I, I am accounting. I make financial statement and for my boss. This is oh, my... Really? Interesting. And, and you, uh, where do you work? 
I work in Ericsson as Salvador. Ah, okay. And what is your, how do you say, I don't remember the words, teacher. Sorry, fine. Intente, uh, find a way to communicate with him. Uh, intente pedirle algo, so try to ask for some help. Debbie, can you, could you help me make report uh, for the general management? Sure. And, and better teacher. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that sounds all right. That sounds all right. Okay, a, a little bit. Un poco importante, right? He was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so sure. Oh. All right. No, but it, it was all right. It was okay. okay. Quizás como un poco más de info. Sure, no problem. Or uh -huh, para que no suene como muy tajante, right? But that's nice. Right. Okay, the question sounds good. So it is totally fine. Thank you, guys. Very nice, Thanks. actually. Very good. Um, I'm not sure if the first question was answered, but the rest was all right. It was really good. Okay, um, let me go with, uh, just take a look. Oh, let me go back to the previous one. So, Jorge Vane, uh, are you ready, guys? So, es algo simple, no es algo que, like, you could elaborate a lot, because, la idea solamente era practicar un poquito, like, questions and vocabulary. Um, Vane, are you ready? Jorge, are you ready? Hi, Griselda, I'm glad you're back. Me alegra que ya regresó. Eh, Jorge. Vale. Where are you? Hey, teacher. <laughs> Hi there. Hi, hey, teacher. Doing? It's How all right. It's fine. It's totally good. Eh, no sé si Vane is right there. Si no, let me ask you some questions. So, um, eh, so, mientras Vane, mientras escuchamos a Vane, back. Eh, so Jorge, ¿quiere ser mi jefe o quiere ser mi empleado, mi subordinado? What do you want to be? My employer. My employer? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Mi empleador, right? Mi yeah, empleador, yeah. Per, perdón, mi, mi empleador, my employer. No. My I'm, employee. Yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, so, hi Jorge, um, this is Julia. I really need your help. Um, are you available right now? Yeah, I am available. Okay, very nice. Um, so, listen Jorge, I really need to update my computer system and because I am having a lot of problems right now. Um, could you do that? like this coming weekend is that possible yeah it's possible yes uh, when could you do it on saturday or on sunday or do you need two days on saturday and in, in the morning oh really uh okay so that is the first thing the second thing i need is my um the owner of the company is asking for a report on the databases that we have completed. Um, you know, the databases with the employees and HR databases. Um, could you do, um, could you complete a report for me by this coming Monday? On Monday? Mm -hmm. Dígame que no. <laughs> so you can't. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, sorry, I mm -hmm. I don't. Sorry, I don't. I, I couldn't. Sorry, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. I couldn't. Suena como más, más formal. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, try to give me an explanation. Why not? <laughs> it's, 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 on, on the Monday, it's, it's a preparatory report of the attending employees on, mm -hmm. the, on the weekend. And no me da mucho tiempo. <laughs> no tengo mucho tiempo. I, I don't, I, I pull so much. I don't have time. time? Okay. Yeah. 
So when, when do you think you can have the report ready? Repeat teacher, please. Yes. When do you think you can have the report ready? When? Mm, uh, on Wednesday. Oh, very nice. Okay, no problem then. So on Wednesday sounds good. On Wednesday it is okay. okay. All right. Thank you. Very nice job. Okay. You too, <laughs> Thank you so much. That was all right. I really like it. You tried to answer my questions, and that's it. Very good job. So guys, actually, um, so la idea de las conversaciones y del group work es precisamente eso, que ustedes no se queden solo como yes, no, sino que intenten dar más. Eh, eh, obviamente que vayamos utilizando el vocabulario que ya vieron, mucho Juan, mucho el tú, right? Very nice job. Y también trabajamos un poquito de listening. Thank you so much for that. Guys, por, eh, voy a tomarles asistencia antes de dejarlos ir, just before letting you go. So give me one second here. I have, um, solamente regaleme la confirmación que estamos acá. And just, si me ayudan con su camarita, that would be nice. I have David. Hello, present. Thank you. I have Debra. Hi, everyone. Thank you, Miss Edwin. Acabo de ver algún por ahí. Eh, Lupita. Miss. Gracias, Miss. Um, Abigail. Gracias, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Griselda. Griselda. Present, Miss. Thank you. Isaías. Gracias. Thank you, Isaías. Uh, Yvette. Present, teacher. Javier. Present. Thank you, Jorge. Present teacher. Eduardo. Present teacher. Creo que Carla no lo he visto. Uh, Mr. Cruz. Uh, Mr. Casaneda. Present Miss. Manuel. Present Miss. Thank you, Vanessa. Present Miss. I have, thank you. As I have a sense of lima. All right, guys. So thanks a lot uh, for joining. Guys, empezamos a trabajar in unit number three. And not just, uh, you know, and thanks a lot for staying until the end of classes. So have an amazing night. And Mr. Cruz no está acá. Okay. And Vane, si me ayuda con unos minutitos, si se puede quedar, por favor, se lo agradecería. Thank you, guys. You are dismissed. And I'll be seeing you tomorrow. Have a good night. Okay, good night. Bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. See you good soon. Night. Good night, miss. Bye-bye. Hello, miss. Solo le robo un par de minutitos acá. Bueno, Miss. ¿Qué tal, Miss? ¿Cómo está? How are you doing? Aquí un poquito cansada. Me ya imagino. Sueño. Ya casi sí. nos vamos. Solo le voy a robar no, unos no, minutitos no, para el one on one. Nada, Miss, solo me gustaría saber cómo está, cómo se siente, cómo siente su mm. avance. How you, how you doing there? Um, me alegra mucho primero eh, escucharle un poquito más o le estoy escuchando a Little More, Your Participating More, y eso es súper bueno. Agradecerle también por la, eh, la plataforma en las clases. Yo siempre la veo conectada y no so I'm like, hey, yeah. So, gracias sí, por eso, entiendo. gracias por la attendance. La me imagino que... pesado. Sí, lo que pasa es que, bueno, yo trabajo en el escalón y el tráfico es algo pesadito por allá. Entonces, ah, sí. casi que me tardo casi dos horas en ir y dos horas en volver. Entonces, Pero vive cerca. Que, fíjese que por San Miguelito, pero no sé por qué ah. ahora hay mucho tráfico y entonces eh, uno se tarda más. Y ahí la zona del escalón es bien difícil. Sí, es bien, bien feo. Pero, anyways, pero, pero yo le agradezco igual. Me imagino que en el camino va conectada o I don't know. 
eh, a veces, por lo menos ayer no iba a poder estar como eh, totalmente conectada, ¿verdad? Solamente como oyente, pero en eso que ya no hubo la clase, pues ya no, ya no estuve así. Yeah. Uh -huh. okay. Sí, yo, yo sé, me imagino igual, les, les agradezco porque la hora es bastante pesadita, but thank you so much for that. Um, Miss, me gustaría saber, like, your input, uh, cómo sientes su avance, eh, siente que está participando más, siente que está comprendido más, you got more vocabulary, o hay algo que siente que le está costando mucho. Fíjense que la verdad que me gusta su metodología de trabajo. Eh, a, anteriormente, pues, eh, ya he estado con como dos teachers, pero le, con usted, no sé, me, me gusta un un poco más se podía decir. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Okay, thank you. Okay. Y pues siento que participo un poco más. Lo que sí que me cuesta es como eh, un poco decir que voy a conversar con usted en inglés. Siento que sí me cuesta. O que voy a, a decir muchas palabras, tal vez. Tal okay. vez como algo corto, sí. O sea, no puedo mantener una conversación. Eso. Ok, vale, intentemos. Eh, de hecho, las conversaciones no tienen que ser complicadas. Um, si usted sabe utilizar el verbo to be, con el verbo to be hablamos la mayor parte de veces. Entonces, lo único que le va, bueno, lo que más le va a ayudar es organizar sus ideas en la mente. You know? Como sujeto, I, siempre si va a hablar de usted va a ser I y luego el verbo. I go, I read, I study. Si es pasado, entonces va I y el verbo en pasado. I went, I read. Pero es lo mismo, sujeto, verbo. Ármelo, you know, a mí me servían mucho las manos. So yo armaba uh -huh. como sujeto, verbo, sujeto. Todas deben de llevar sujeto, verbo para poder, poder comunicar ideas. No tiene que complicarse la vida traduciendo, no lo piense en español y tradúzcalo porque ahí se va a chibular. Sino, siga eso, sujeto, verbo, I, I, and you know, esto sirve mucho, sujeto, okay. verbo, complemento. So, intente que sus oraciones lleven las tres ideas y vaya agregando conectores como and, but, y, y and, but, also, con esas tres hacen una maravilla, se lo voy a escribir acá. So, and, okay. but, and, also, y eso es lo único que necesita, you know, and give it a try. Uh, but let me ask you some questions. Mm -hmm. uh, let me ask you some. You say, intente, you know, uh, seguir tanto como puede. Intente darme detalles, right? And also significa lo mismo. Son y o además. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, but es como el contraste, right? Pero con eso se va mismo. So you don't need like a lot of words right now. Um, um, so, uh, vamos a eh, practicar un poquito pasado. Vaya. So, es, recuérdese, hay sujeto, verbo, y el verbo intenta en pasado. Si no se recuerda cuál es el verbo, cámbielo todo a regular. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you can change it to regular y después revisamos los verbos, no hay problema. Mm -hmm. So, what did you do yesterday? What, what did you do yesterday? Yes. Como que hice. Yes. Eh, eh, durante este día. Mm, yesterday. Ayer. Mm. Yesterday. Ayer, yesterday. Yes. Ayer, quiero ver. Mm, I. Uh, yeah, y el verbo. I, I verbo. I, verbo. I. Sería I, I am work. Mm, no, solo I y el verbo I, pasado. I work. I work. Ajá. Pero no era, es que los verbos en pasado no los he practicado mucho. Okay. Pero... Bueno, dígamelos cómo se recuerda, o cámbienmelo todos a ed. Ed es como el verbo regular en pasado, cámbienmelos con ed. Y luego eh, le voy worked. a dejar unas tareas. Uh -huh. I worked. Eh... ¿Qué más? What else? Quiero ver. I worked. I... I ate. Yes. What did you eat? Uh, what? What did you eat? What do you eat? Uh, no. What uh, did you eat? Cuando escucha uh, did, la pregunta es pasado. Uh, 
What did you eat? Uh, I uh -huh. I ate. Yes. Uh, el almuerzo, quiero ver. Invénteselo, no es necesario que me diga la verdad. So, uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh, so I ate. Uh -huh. um, eh, con mis amigos, eh, I ate um, breakfast. Okay. Eh, um, uh, no recuerdo. Eh, I don't remember. I ate breakfast. Eh, okay. Um, con mis eh, friends. With my, my friends. friends. With my With friends. My friends. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, did uh, you eat? Did you eat pupusas for breakfast? Uh, yes. Uh, it. ¿Cómo I, diría? I. Siempre sujeto verbo. I. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh, ate. Uh -huh. Pupusas. Yes, very nice. Okay. Lo, uh, lo que sí que a veces se me olvidan algunas cosas porque, digamos, eh, no sé, yo tengo como, eh, quiero ver, ¿cómo se dice? Lo de la tiroides, algo de la tiroides. Entonces tomo un medicamento porque okay. a mí yo padezco de que se me olvidan las cosas. Ah, oh, ok. Entonces, well, sí. aprender un idioma es una buena técnica, me imagino, uh -huh. cuando tiene que ver con memoria. So, sí. Ayuda mucho a potenciar la memoria. Ajá, um, entonces eso. Y, y yo es pienso que eso tal vez me afecta un poquito. Mm, <risa> podría ser, sin embargo, eh, usted tiene la idea. So, you, you understood it. Si entendió mis preguntas, you got them. And, y si se fija, usted sí puede responder las preguntas. So, lo único que necesitas acordarse cuál es el orden, porque lleva un orden, right? I ate, so I worked, I studied. Y eso es todo, ahí se va todo el pasado, no es nada complicado. Lo único que vamos a tratar de memorizar los verbos. <laughs> so we're going to try to memorize verbs. Al menos eh, de la lista que les di, creo que eran como 25. Al menos sí. intente, like, I don't know, cinco verbos, eh, tal vez no memorizarlos, pero repetirlos, right? Todos uh -huh. los días que se levante. No sé si le funciona. Eh, algo que me funcionaba es escribir como en esposo, escribir el presente del pasado y lo ponía en mi espejo, you know? So, o algo que si está en la oficina, póngalo enfrente en su computadora eh, o en la pared, you know? And cuando se levante los va a ver y es como, ah, esto, esto, esto. Porque de no. esa forma usted los tiene presentes. Sí, sí, cuando usted nos dijo, las estaba anotando y así, pero en estos días eh, ya no he podido, pero lo voy a seguir haciendo. Haga post uh -huh. Los post ayudan mucho. You know, alguien me decía que toda la casa, porque tenía, eh, le costaba mucho memorizar vocabulario, entonces lo que hizo es que toda la casa fue y puso post con los nombres de los objetos en toda la casa. Y no like, no, no le creo. Pero sí, me le tomó foto en la Qué refrigeradora. Ya, yeah, la refrigeradora. You know, la, pa, todo, everything had a name. Como mirror, closet, switch. I was like, damn, es cierto. So, mm -hmm. Si le funciona, mis, por ahí le dejo el inquietud. You know, póngale nombre o haga dibujitos. Ayuda mucho con memoria, um, especialmente mm -hmm. de la práctica, right? Si usted lo practica todos los días, si usted intenta un poquito, every single day se le va a quedar más rápido. Exactly. Sí, Pero me alegra me... mucho. Yeah. Me, re me recomendó eso alguien ayer, fíjese, lo que me está diciendo el, de ponerle los nombres a las cosas, digamos, al ventilador, al closet, yes. a la mesa. Me dijo de que eso, pues uno viéndolo todos los días se exactly. le iba a quedar. Yeah, Ajá. o póngalo en su espejo o en el computer. Eso normalmente... Tenía un señor que trabajaba de conductor de Uber en, y el señor, you know, en, en frente ponía como donde va la radio, eh, había po posteado cositas, you know, vocabulary. Cuando mm -hmm. tenía presentaciones le tomaba foto y ahí lo iba viendo cuando estaba libre. So, encuentra la forma, you know, 
porque estudiar no tiene que ser sentarse en la hora con el cuaderno, me lo voy a aprender. No, uh -huh. sino verlo todos los días es mejor. It's even better. Se encuentra la forma. Pero me alegro muchísimo eh, escucharlo un poquito más. Like you're practicing, you're giving it a try. Así que solamente quedamos pendientes con los verbos en pasado. Se los voy a preguntar ahora después, el próximo jueves, y Ay, al yeah. menos, ¿cuántos, ¿cuántos cree que se aprende para el próximo jueves? Pero así aprendidos de bien aprendidos. Usted ponga Vaya, su número realista. Menos, Ajá. Vaya, por lo menos unos 12. Vaya, 12, le voy a preguntar 12. Vaya. I'm going to ask you random 12 verbs eh, para el próximo Thursday. Porque, you know, usted ponga en metas realistas, right? Un, cinco uh -huh. palabras es mentira. Pero dos palabras diarias, bien aprendidas, no, I, I think it's doable. Uh -huh. Exactly. So, Bye. 12. <laughs> okay, uh -huh. perfect. Thank you. Sorry, Miss, ya le robé más tiempo. Pero espero que pueda descansar. Gracias por su tiempo. Y nos vemos mañana. I'll be seeing you tomorrow. <laughs> Muchas gracias a ustedes. Que tengan una welcome. linda noche. Have a good uh -huh. night. Uh -huh.